uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. Hope you are where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. That's right. Get up, tap. G'day, Dazza. <laughs> Private in joke there. See what the YouTube uh, auto <laughs> auto captioner makes of that one. Um, today, I want to talk to you about mediums and CDs and why I'm really not loving TDs, why I'm loving mediums. Um, I am a lot, look, if you've watched the channel, you know, I love mediums. I've loved them for freaking five years. It's like big surprise, Bushka. Water's wet, frogs don't bounce, and you like tanks that go fast and pew, 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 pew. Well, that's right, but it's not my fault. Uh, I started running around again this week. I've actually played a lot this week. I'm back on. And uh, I had to go up the old, what is this thing? The Ho-Ri, the Chi-Ri, the Mi-Ri, the Three-Ri, the Five whatevers. I don't know. It's a good tank, the 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 Tier 10 Japanese TD. Um, and it's got this weird thing where you can run the uh, premium AP and have 380 millimeters of pen and only lose 15 damage off your standard shell, which works for me. But I just found that I didn't really... I wasn't having fun. I wasn't winning nearly as many games, uh, even when I was doing good damage. And I think that the time away from Blitz, uh, playing other games, predominantly PUBG Mobile, but I've also been mucking around a few other things, it's it's not changed me at all. I thought I'd come back and maybe I'd, I'd be a bit more tactical, and sitting at the back. And I still play a lot of tactical games, but I just need to be involved. And I think... The fact of the matter is that I'm probably not good enough anymore to run TDs the way I used to run them, but TDs seem to be tanks that take advantage of people being bad, and mediums seem to be tanks that are just doing stuff all the time. I'm going to show you some games in the 121B. Uh, I pulled out the old Golden Dragon. Thanks very much, courtesy of War Gaming's wallet, this one, on the contributor account. Do you know the contributor account I'm on is the... I think it could be the first contributor account ever made. I was thinking about this when I loaded up. It's like, uh, it's contributor number one. And I'm like, wow, this is kind of crack It's like, I wonder if this is the first thing. And when I got this account, it was like I had to do a whole thing where I sent a, a massive email to Ozan and listed all the reasons why I needed a contributor account, why I needed a, an account that had all the stuff on it. They actually called it a press account. Interesting. Anyway, um, you know, we wore an onion on our belt, which was great because I'm an old man. What was I talking about? I was talking about 121Bs and doing stuff. You can see you're into the game, okay? And our mediums are, our heavies are going to get belted a bit on the flank and we're going to win this one and we're going to win this engagement and just keep using the angles and we get a little bit of a help from, I think it's an E3 or something. And geez, aren't there a lot of T110 E3s in the game now? People are loving that thing. Go, 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 go. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Um, but there's also like a heap of TDs. And this really confounded me because there was a time, obviously, when Blitz had nothing but massive amounts of TDs. In it. And um, it was so funny. They actually imposed that limit of the amount of TDs that could be played on both sides. Because there were games where it was literally six TDs. Um, just so much, uh, so much raw base big boom. Raw base big boom. Well done, Bushka. You're really bringing that YouTube content. Love the heat too. What's wrong with uh, heat spam? My wallet weeps tears of joy whenever you weep tears of sorrow at my heat. Have a heat round. Thanks very much. And this is a doing tank. Mediums are doing tanks. They get out there and they influence the battle by mobility. And they have DPM, sure, but it's it's small dose DPM. It's a lot less uh, like the DPM or lovely blind shot there, my friend, on the mouse, menacing legend. Take that one to the bank, buddy. Um, and we're down by a tank here, but it's still pretty even. And we've owned the flank, we've picked up a cap, and now we're going to push back through. And I just find that the TD mode of gameplay is so stagnant and i don't like the fact that when i'm in a td it feels more like the rest of the team can lose the game for me before i even really get going uh rather than i can go and win the game like i can in a medium mediums can spot targets or lights they can spot targets 
they can hold flanks. They can create really crappy angles that mean other tanks that push up get punished. Um, they're able to obviously contest caps a lot easier than TDs are. And, I mean, I've got to go back and play some heavies. I've not really been playing any heavies at all. Um, oh, God. I've had some glorious days in the ST1. One of the old reliables. Just should be firing more heat, Bushka. I don't know what's wrong with you. Oh, hello. IS-4. Uh, and I've found that I've just enjoyed them more. And I've really not enjoyed playing TDs at all. And I'm sure that, you know, you all know if you've been around the tank game for any time, I've had enough whinge sessions about the 183 and... Now that kind of power in the hands of the wrong humans. Oh my god, that's a lot of like, what should we do? Switch to the skill rounds and then put one into the tracks. Bushka, you're a genius. Well done. Well thought out game plan, my friend. But all I'm gonna do here is just I cap two caps. I did some damages and I left the building. And you and your big lumbering buttocks. Jaeger Ruin E100 can go and try and contest a cap because <laughs> I'm not interested. Not interested. Taking this show on the road. Uh, by the way, if you haven't liked the video, why not? What the hell's wrong with you? And if you haven't subscribed, why not? What the hell's wrong with you? Let's get some subscribing going on again. Some liking going on again. Let's make it a party in here. Uh, should we do a live stream? Maybe we should do a live stream. I don't know. You can request tanks. Maybe you can request songs. I'll sing some show tunes. Wouldn't it be? Oh, I'm just going to start singing songs from Hamilton, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to. I refuse. Uh, this is a game. The, I'm going to show you two short clips. Um, this is exactly what I'm talking about. What I love about medium play is you take what is on offer. You always take what the defense gives you. And I am just, I don't like going to the middle unless I'm in a perfect tank for it because so many tanks go to the middle on uh, on this map. You know what I'm talking about. They all go in the middle, gun depression time, Centurion 7-1s, that kind of thing. Whereas, I've pushed up here, I've seen some tanks over this, and now I'm thinking, wow, I might be able to get all the way across. They haven't contested the middle, which is crazy talk. You hear me? That is absolutely crazy. You don't contest the middle on this map, you're asking for a flogging. We're six minutes to go, so we've been in the game for one minute, and I'm already in their spawn. And I'm putting shots in the back of their TDs. And... We are rolling up the flank. Now, this isn't a huge damage game, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Being so influential in the game, like just keep going until the defense stops you. And right now the defense is like not doing jack. I'm able to just keep wandering and wandering and wandering. And it takes these static gameplay behemoths, the big booty TDs and everything out of the game. And it's more fun to play and it's more fun to watch. Don't, I mean, I don't think you have the same kind of crazy-ass gameplay, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've just been really, really lucky this past week or so, and maybe the game has changed meta tremendously. I'm just a dinosaur, and I'm an anachronism. Uh, look that one up for you young children who are fresh to the YouTubes. Uh, but whatever, if I'm chronologically challenged, if I'm a man out of time, who knows? But I love me some mediums. And I haven't had a huge game here, but I've screwed them. I've screwed the entire red team. I've forced all their TDs to leave. They're all buttoned up behind buildings. They can't side scrape. They're not the kind of tanks that can take this kind of damage and just keep dishing it out. It's all wrong. And this is the game. It's, this is literally the game there. They've all been squeezed. They've lost their, they've lost their decorum. Uh, and it's over. And it's because we just rammed it right up their jaxies and kept on rumbling. And... This is the joy of a medium tank. Look at that big bopper. That, you, know what, you know what solves that? Hate. That's what solves that problem. <laughs> I got no qualms. God, I hope people get upset from seeing me fire heat. When I used to stream right at the start, it used to be a big thing when we first kicked off Blitz, okay? Um, the spam of the heat 54s, right? The T-54. And Snake Eyes would always just fire heat. He load. There used to be no damage uh, drop from firing premium ammo, and Snake would run the 54's heat too. Would hardly ever get caught in spaced armor or anything. And it had was it 330 millimeters of pen. And Snake, Snake would run uh, 34 rounds of heat and two rounds of AP, or something like that. <laughs> 
remember one day we were playing a matchmaking game where it was tier 9 versus tier 7 because obviously we had tier 7 uh, two matchmaking was plus two minus two and Snake was firing heat into a T43 and people were outraged in the live stream chat he's firing heat and he's Snake is I'm like Snake AP will go through the turret of that T43 and he's like so will heat boom <laughs> have another thousand credits war gaming um yeah like I've I just god people used to get upset about heat anyway I can move. I can move topics. I can move topics like a champion. This is another game where I'm only going to score 1,800 damage. You'll note there's a 183 behind me. And I'm not really fussed about the big ticket numbers. Like, look how many damages I've done and look at the points and all that kind of thing. What I want to show you is just I'm able to operate the front line. I'm able to just sit down here, keep people spotted, uh, fully support the 183 when he gets pushed by a bat chat in a little bit. Just keep an eyeball on tanks and people, and I'm going to work back just from this front line here. That's where the uh, Conway is. Thanks very much. Good to know. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to have Hamilton on your side? I said I wouldn't sing it, but maybe I can say it. The E100 sneaking down the back. They're starting to push this right side, and I'm just simply kind of like a spring here at the front, moving backwards and forwards, keeping everything lit, making sure that they can't get an angle on the 183, because if I give up this top area, they're going to pulverize him. But if I don't give up this top area, if I don't take a heap of damage, if I just keep moving gently as the wind blows me, I can be a complete pest. And I don't have to do it by exposing myself all the time. You can set some good angle on the top of that hill. We're going to drill another one over there. Thanks very much, 50B. And these guys can't come down with me there. The 183 is just having a field day. There's that Conway again. Yep, enjoy yourself over there. 183 would like to make your acquaintance. And because I'm a medium, I'm able to respond so quickly to threats. See that bat chat that's just popped on the screen? He's trying to flank our 183. It's a good move. It's the right move right now because that 183 is in trouble. He's isolated, but I'm a medium. I'm able to influence the outcome of the game. He calls for help and I'm like, I'm already on the way, baby. You know it. I'm coming. And here we go. Um, and... Yeah, 183 is going to pulverize this guy, but then he's on a massive reload. He probably would have died. No, nope, not with me on the job. Mission complete. Damn straight. And we're back. And it's exactly what I love about playing a fast mover that keeps me coming back to Blitz. It is... I just don't love the other stuff so much. I don't love the big damage TDs and everything, but I love influencing the game with mobility and joy. Anyway, I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. Eat your veg. Walk the dog. Be nice to your mum. Uh, and subscribe. Why not? What's wrong with you? Why not subscribe?